tell me something that you know you can't be wrong about or a motivation that you have or something like that. Is there anything like that for you? You have like a principle you might have like uh, sent your life around? Well, I mean, so... By the way, I'm Adam. I'm, <laughs> nice to meet you, Nice Kai. to meet you. My name's Adam. Uh, <laughs> you so, see what I did? Uh, I'm, yeah, no, you did I'm get, corny as hell. I'm trying to think, you know, to think about it. Like, so we know each other. Yeah, there's a couple of, I mean, like if you look, if you look at like a phrase or something that a mantra that I, that I kind of ascribe to a lot, it's... Okay. Uh, if you're not embarrassed by the person you were a year ago, you're not making progress. Oh, I love that. If you're not embarrassed about the person you were a year ago, if you're not embarrassed, or you're dead, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Ah, oh, man, that would have been my thesis right there. Gotcha. I gotcha. No. See, like I said, it's not about that. So, like, if you're not embarrassed, you mind if we talk about that for a little bit? Not at all. Five minutes? Sure. Cool. So if you're not embarrassed about the person you were a year ago, you're not making progress. Yeah. What, is, what does that mean? Or what does that mean to you? Well, so I, I heard it at a Sunday assembly conference a couple of years ago, and I don't know who the quote is ascribed to, but I never forgot it. Mm. And I think that, you know, when you look at the progression of life and at least my own personal experience, it's like, um, you know, I want to always try to see that I'm moving in some sort of direction that, you know, it moves me further along whatever path or river I'm floating down mm. um, and I think along with that comes you know the idea that okay I, I should probably be making changes that you know move myself towards that all the time oh that's so an that interesting I interpretation be, yeah I could be a, like reflective back and say all right you know boy I would not have made the same decisions now that I did a year ago or made it made that choice of how to say that or that direction that I went um, it's gotten me to this point but again that's progress. Then why be embarrassed if it got you to the point that you are now, where you can look back at it with some wisdom and be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Right. Like, why so be I think embarrassed embarrassed is, a, embarrassed is one of those words that I think probably elicits a little bit of an emotional re reaction to it. Uh -huh. um, you know, I think about it from a standpoint of, okay, well, if I'm, you know, if I'm, if I'm saying something out of context or something that altogether was inappropriate at that time or not the best use of it, um, I can look back on them and be like, you know, I can embarrassed I could take myself you know shame on you Adam for not for thinking uh, that way feeling that way is it but I like, wouldn't do that anymore you're giving yourself permission to laugh or be humble by your own actions yeah I think that that's a fair way to say is it. that more mm -hmm. clear yeah the way how I was interpreting that when you had first said it is like I have permission to make mistakes yeah. because I'm always giving myself the time in the future to correct those mistakes. So if I make them now, it's not the end of the world because there'll always be another year. That's a good healthy outlook. I think it's I think it's also, you know, I mean if again if we're you know we're all somewhat reflective on our you know our own past and again to me it's like I you know it's hard to measure life in a series of days or hours or, or months or such. Sure. Yeah. But you know if I look at the grand arc of you know my existence here, I can probably pretty effectively look at a year's worth of time and just think, okay you know, who was that individual, you know, May 3rd, 2018? I've never considered my identity and such a, such a short resolution such that I feel like a different person a year ago. Does that yeah. make sense? Well, sure, yeah. Like, I would need to, I have my, my life is in blocks. It's well, like, we're not, yeah, and, right? and I tend to organize a lot in that way. And, and again, I don't think we're talking about, you know, completely, you know, uh, like, share level transformation. Oh, yeah, sure. But, but the, it has happened. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Or, no doubt. And I've definitely done things where it's like, why did I pretend to know mm. Korean <laughs> in fourth yeah. grade, right? Like, why was I trying to sound cool? And then when the Korean I'll kid came, never I'm like, that draw that note. I'm like, I'm just drawing gibberish. It's like, that's not Korean. I'm like, oh, well, exactly. I guess everyone knows I'm a liar now. Like, exactly. Things like that happen, right? So, like, I'm totally fine with that. Though I wonder, how do you make progress out of just being embarrassed of it? Like, what's the corrective action that you need to do? Like, it, is it just enough to be embarrassed to make progress, or well, is there something else that you have to do? So I, I don't know that you, in that moment, you're necessarily like you know, as you're living in the present. I don't know that in that moment you you have the the introspection to look and see. Oh, I would have made that decision differently immediately. Hmm. I think you need the time of reflection and looking back, and okay, and and the renewed sense of like where I am to be able to to look back and say, wow, I, I've I've moved, I've grown, I've would I've, I continue to keep making that same mistake again right absolutely and yeah. then if not let me make a plan to go around let that. me grow yeah let me grow out of it i mean just the this the awareness of it itself i mean actually helps me i'm not mm. i'm not thinking about it 
at all, mm. all the time. Mm. Um, but I do, but when I do think about like what people ask me about is something that you can principle wise kind of um, get behind. I love that concept. I love that self reflection aspect. I wonder. Is there a way that that could be applied to like a group setting rather than oh, just saying sure. like, hey, rather than me improving myself, what can we do to improve? How can I express that? Right. Because I'm looking back on what we did a year from now and I'm slightly embarrassed by other people's actions. How do you express that? So I think like the perfect example would be something like Sunday Assembly at that point where, okay, you know, we're, we as an organization, we're a volunteer run group. We have a different... Uh, I guess flavor to this repeatable template that we've sure. had for the past five years um, and we're there's no real roadmap there so each and every month is a grand new experiment and right to do how clashing of ideas seeing what flows to the top absolutely and so sometimes I think you make we mistakes at, but it's okay yeah and then that can be something like okay did we go a particular way either towards a particular topic or a particular you know song selection or a particular <laughs> approach yeah. to was Gangster's Paradise the really right, great absolutely. song play after that. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a legitimate thing. I mean, I, I tell you, one, uh, uh, an example of that once, uh, we're almost out of time. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, but, if you want to talk more, that's totally fine. <laughs> but an example I just have this that, as a sign I'm not wasting your time. We had a, we had a challenge several months ago, hmm. um, probably about a year or so ago, where a song was selected, which some people in the groups thought was relatively culturally inappropriate. It was a gray enough area that it caused a lot of oh, conversations about interesting, it. interesting. Yes. That is its own big topic. Would you mind asking me, would you well, mind telling me what the name of the song was? If, um, no, it was, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I can I can tell you. Um, uh, I will tell you the story in a second. I don't okay, go for it, go for it, go for it. So we had we had we thought it would be a good idea to like get the people in the room together and have a conversation and a dialogue about you know why people feel this way and, and such. Uh huh. Um, Just cool at, everything down. Yeah. Right? And basically, let's let's learn from this. And at that meeting, somebody who was there actually called me out for a song that we had done maybe a year or two prior. Um, it was Basket Case by Green Day. Okay. Because What's in the lyrics that's offensive? Asen well, essentially, it's, you know, it, a song about mental illness, you know, and, you know, somebody's going crazy or, you know, and that type of thing. And, you know, it's a fun Green Day song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really didn't think about it's, that. It's... I... Don't trust me. I've been in the same position, too. I've sang semi charm Life yeah. at, at work. Yeah. Just, you know, headphones in, doing work. And I had someone pull me over, and I'm like... You shouldn't sing that song. I'm like, do 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 do. Yeah. It's like, do you know the lyrics in that song? I'm like, yeah, but I never really thought about them. No, right. And then I read the lyrics, and I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> were you reading that as like a novel, or were you reading that as like the song that I was singing? Right. It was just like a song. It's a great Very fine song, line, though. But yeah, like, how do you? What's the right? So how do you my, handle that? So my so my should I my feel embarrassed about that? Is I guess what my I'm my realization yeah. was in that moment that okay I have to take seriously mm. what what it is I'm 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 choosing to to sing or bringing to the table. It doesn't mean that we, it's not just what you like; it's what everybody likes. If you're singing right, and I have to be, I have to be as as in, inclusive in my thought process as I can. Yeah, you know, in order to make that you know, to make the best decisions possible. And sometimes I need somebody who had that memory of two years ago sure and you know where you know of, of that moment and how that affected them and it's like okay I'm not gonna make that same mistake I don't think again or at least I'm gonna enter those types of situations with a different kind of focus I'll ask ahead of time if mm -hmm. it's cool before I sing this song I'll, or I'll make additional we'll have steps. a dialogue about yeah, it. yeah yeah we just need to make the effort to have so in this case the the one that actually sparked the, the challenge mm -hmm. there was a, a particular song that um, was Long story short, it was in the it was in the style of an old Negro spiritual. And okay. Some of the words were, you know, changed ever so slightly to kind of make it a more modern Sunday assembly as so perspective. Instead of talking about being free, they're talking about getting ad support more off Facebook like, yeah, or something well, like that. Well, I mean, not that extreme, but you one kind day of got ad the black idea. will clone <laughs> yeah. something like that. It's just like Ooh, I mean, so, I'm so a little, I feel a little awkward. Yeah. Something so like it was something like that. Like that. Yeah. So so we. We, we had those challenges. We, we we went back and forth. Like, does a sound, you know, um, uh, you know, represent a culture? Do, do yeah, the words, these are really really big questions. Songs. 
Yes. Now, at the end of it, what we found out that the song was actually a modern song written by a white woman. Um, it was a, a like it was not at all a, an old African American spirit. Just sure, let Google it matter. Either Google way. could have you know figured that out. It still drove a very important, I think, healthy conversation that sure. a, affects what we do today. Mm. But I mean, even still, I don't know that they would have you know raised as much issue as they could have if they you know had said. Uh, or I, I mean, I don't know if it would have been a big enough deal, or even people would have noticed if they wouldn't have looked in t deeper to try and find out where the source of the song so, actually came from. It's I'm going to th throw something out here, and this might be a little controversial. And if I'm you don't want to record, just let me know. Are we, we recording now? We're recording now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Was any of the people who were upset like me black? No. It tends to be the case that the people who get upset about things like that are people who, like you're yeah, borrowing from black culture are not black people who make right. that complaint right it tends to be non-black people that make that complaint an example that i had for that was um there was there's a guy who's named mac miller he just died he's a rapper yeah it's very very good incredible he infuses funk into a lot of his stuff and he plays a bunch of instruments but a lot of people were upset about his style of rap because it's like, oh, he's borrowing from black people, he's borrowing yeah. from gangster rap, he's borrowing from trap. He's almost like, dude, it's all open. Like, the, right. it's all open. But the people who were really complaining were like white people who were taking the position of, I'm not racist, so I'm going to be yeah. arguing for these guys over here. And meanwhile, the guys over here who look like me are like, uh, we asked for this. We li I'm listening to Mark Miller, right? Mac Miller, right now. What are you talking about? So I wonder, like, in the effort to not fall into bad stereotypes culturally, mm -hmm. a lot of people inadvertently reinforce bad stereotypes in the sense of like, hey, you can't play that only black people can play. So let me you ask you a question. Yes. Talk to um, me. So if in that situation, if it was just a stylistic or a you know a, a you know a musical kind of choice, and yeah, that's I mean that if that I I tend to agree with you. I don't think that that's something that. Um, you know, fits the definition of what we're talking about here. For However, me, it's the context. Yes, like, but let me ask you this. Talk to me. Like, if this was an actual, like, um, you know, Negro spiritual that had been co-opted for this purpose, would that have changed your opinion on it at all? I mean, not really. Like, if it, ch if the, if the, if I came to the Sunday assembly and you guys sang a Negro spiritual about science and how science is great. Like, I'm looking around at everyone, everyone's enjoying a type of music that, like, my ancestry brought forward, and we're putting it into something that I think is supportive for the culture, science, everything's cool. Like, if you started up a Negro spiritual about how we need to start sending more black, young black men to jail for nonviolent crimes, I'd be right. like, this is really <laughs> offensive. Yeah. Like, not only did you co-opt the thing that I had, yeah. but you're using it for a bad reason. Yeah. No, it's, for me, it's about what's the context of the situation. That in context is love and I feel like a lot of people forget that and they just got cut up on that surface hmm. surface level thing so a negro spiritual that wouldn't bother me at all no so the challenge that I have in that situation is to like and again I don't want to overstate you know what what any of this is. No. But it's like, you know, it's that your opinion matters a tremendous amount. The opinions that of, of the other individuals matter and the unknown opinions of the mass, the, the 80 or so people that are going to be Just sitting like down indifferent? There. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, mm. but, they, but there's a certain gravity to that at least to say, okay, well, I, I don't want to... I want, I, want to, I, want to, I want us to learn and to grow from and through that. And all of it flavors kind of how the perspective you know, will look moving forward. The, this dialogue, um, you know, the conversations that have happened since, you sure, know, the yeah. way that we address things online, topics like this and how we discuss them. I mean, that's, those are all good moving the ball type things forward. And we're not gonna, we're gonna miss it sometimes too. But, and I don't have an issue with being embarrassed I would always love to see all of my emotions be informed. What do you yeah. think about that? So like even if I'm embarrassed, embarrassed, or if I was ignorant, like why was I ignorant about this? Yes. Why was I embarrassed about mm -hmm. this? Is there a reason for that? And 
was I embarrassed for the right reasons or was I just embarrassed I needed to make a change? Maybe I was yeah. embarrassed, but I was actually right. And maybe I should have took some time to explain that. So that would be better. an interesting way to think about it too. Like, okay, the fact that, you know, it, it, at the time it did seem like I was making, you know, a d decision and even now I can look back on it, but it worked out. You know, I mean, yeah. it was the right thing to do at that time. I don't think that that's a, that's a challenge because I think that those, I mean, everything's, everything snowballs into where we're at today. So mm. those embarrassing situations, outcomes, good or bad, they're going to form who we are today. And mm. sure, the yeah. is, is that, you know, we can look back and say, all right, well, I've, I don't know that I would have handled that situation the same way now. I don't know that I see the world the same way that I did before. Um, I've just always really liked that comment. But I understand embarrass is a, is a tough word. It's, can I throw one last question? Yes. Is it possible to have a perfect year where you just don't do anything that's particularly embarrassing? And you're like, I still want to progress. I or yeah, I mean, or I'm, I think, I'm good now. Like you don't need to be embarrassed to be pro to progress forever. Right. right. So I mean, I think you could. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just it's just your outlook. I mean, somebody can just continue to do day in and day out what they do. Go to work. You know, go home. Provide my family. Yeah, absolutely. And just grind. Right. Like I'm doing it. Absolutely. I have a five-year plan. But I'm that's good. not necessarily right. progress. You Why know, not? So that. Well, I mean, it's it's living, it's existing. For me, that's not necessarily progress. And even if it was, or development, even if it was, I could probably still point back to any point in time in the past and say, all right, this helped change my, something I watched, something I saw, something I did, still helped change my perception on things, my mm. approach towards people. Um, so I think even in the most mundane existence, if I just decided to, like you said, punch a clock, go in and work and all that type of stuff, there's still growth and, and things that happen out of everyday situations. But there's no, what I'm calling, and I know I'm maybe dwelling on the word, but there's no like acknowledgement of, oh, I made a mistake, I feel bad about it, let me correct that. Like it's all like, hey, no, every day I woke up, I'm helping people, I'm having great conversations, mm -hmm. I'm volunteering, yeah. I got my life in order, I'm not on any drugs, I got off alcohol or whatever, whatever the right. issues is, but I am living healthy, I'm giving back to the community, and I feel like I'm actually a great person right now a year goes round and I have nothing but I have no regrets isn't does no that mean regrets. I stopped progressing no but if I, but if no not at all I mean and I think embarrassment you know again is one of those words that's a, an interesting it's a hot topic word to yeah. put out there but <laughs> like you know if I if I'm like everything is going great then yeah. you know would I if I if I look back yeah know, and of course would yes. I still would do you the change things? yeah would I have done things differently would I have you know would I have made a different decision now and that's I think partially what 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 appeals to me in this regard is you know the the uh, application towards leadership, you know, more so than anything else. It's like, okay, hello. Oh my God. I got to introduce talk. myself to you earlier. I'm Chris. I'm Ty. It's really nice Hi, to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. You played stuff. great today, buddy. You played really great. Thank really you. Nice we'll be in touch. We'll, uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so I think it apply. I think the the application to leadership. I mean, you think about again Sunday assembly. Sure. An yeah. Yeah. Like this. It's like there's no roadmap for something. You like need this. that reflection. It's absolutely mm -hmm. important. Yeah. It seems like the most important thing is you should reflect. And if there's mistakes there, yeah, you can feel embarrassed, but don't dwell on it because everybody makes mistakes. Yeah. But you re always reflect. Absolutely. Whether there's embarrassment there or not. And that's the way how you progress. I think that's fine. Do you think this statement will stay the same, like maybe I'm five years from now? I'm going to continue to use you it. You think you'll improve it ahead um, of time? I don't know. It's not my phrase to. to Why not? Uh, You've been living by it. Yes, but uh, I mean, again, I, I don't want to. If, if it's a famous. Who quote, says I don't it's? Go yeah. Out. Who cares? <laughs> no. Put your name at the end of it. Make it your own thing. But, if it's, yeah. but I'm wondering if you live through this and you have even more information, wouldn't you be willing to change it to something that's probably? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I think so. Cool. Yeah, I think cool. that's the that's a very good way of putting it. <laughs> Nice. Adam. All right, time great. great time. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. All right, that was fun. <laughs>